Welcome back. The Cup's being won by co-winning Rangers. Alan Ruff was watching the game with me here. We're in the Alan Ruff suite at Fairhall Stadium. Alan, did you think co-winning deserved winners in the end? Yeah, I think in the end they, they did really well. They played a lot of good football. And I think in the end, I think Kilty second half performance just let them down a wee bit. They played a lot of good football. But at the end of the day, they just didn't have enough shots on target. Yeah, I think we can prove that now by having a look at the full-time statistics. There it is. Six shots on target for Kelty as opposed to Co-Winnings 10. Uh, sorry, six shots as opposed to Co-Winnings 10. co had four on target to Kelty's one. And of course that one goal which turned out to be the winner. And amazingly, Alan, it was scored after just two minutes. Jerry Polini. Yeah, I think as anybody would know, a goal that early in the game just lifts everybody and sets the other team back. Uh, it was a bit fortunate the bounce that he got, but uh, it comes in between Montgomery and Polini. It bounces nice. I thought it was a fantastic save, but... Uh, it's in the back of the net, and that's, that's what matters. And as we saw in his interview with Katrina, he is such a happy man tonight. Yes, I think if there's any drinking he could win in with uh, Montgomery and Polini about, there won't be much left for anybody else. Well, just before the hour mark, you, your former player Montgomery, he almost killed it, he almost made it 2-0, and he, he had a really superb chance to score, didn't he? Yeah, we all know Norman. In the box, there's nobody better than Norman Montgomery. The ball's put into the back post, a fantastic header, but I think, just marginally, I think he's just got say. He, he's done his job, he's put the ball in the back of the net, but the linesman, as we can see, the flag was up very quickly. Yeah, the flag was up very early, and they can't see it there, obviously. It's a fantastic header back across from Gallagher, and that's what he's there for. Yeah, that's what he's there for, but sadly for Coen, that one was chopped off. Now, that was the stand side linesman. The linesman on our side of the pitch was involved in controversy a few minutes later, Alan. Let's have a look at that one. It, was, it turned out to be a, a penalty claim for, yeah, for well, Kelty. The, well, the flag's up here. The flag's already. already offside. Yeah, we, we saw the flag that went up very, very early. And uh, obviously, everybody's got their eye on the ball. Nobody really sees what's happening. But the linesman did have it up very early indeed. Yeah, there it is, we finally saw it at the end. The referee actually never ever saw that flag and no, play raged on. Well, he played on and he gave the bandage to Kowana. The, the Man of the Match award was won by Gallagher, the right back, absolutely rightly, but we, we thought Alan McTurk had a fantastic game, didn't we? Yeah, I thought McTurk was uh, the cutting edge in midfield. He's a superb striker of the ball. We'll see he tried a delicate chip there, but uh, later on, I don't know if we'll see it. Again, he tries to chip, he sees the goalkeeper off his line. That would have been a goal to remember if I didn't win in. He's unfortunate there. And he, this is a great turn, great turn by Montgomery. He lays it off in a fantastic strike. And then that ended up in the top corner. It would have been an absolute superb goal. And that really does emphasise that the stats we showed earlier. Yeah, well, that co winning did have the, the majority of the chances. As we said earlier, the, the co winning midfield were getting forward, they were getting into shooting positions. But as a Kelty midfield, weren't they benching that, that far forward? Now, Kelty did create a couple of chances. Uh, Dave Bowman, the man who came on as a substitute, went close. But t towards the end, Bailey had a shot which, which really gave uh, Cowinning the, the, the jitters. That's right. That's, it, I think Stu Robertson had it under control. I think he, he saw it all the way. And now, Cowinning, I believe, are on course for... I mean, the manager there mentioned three trophies, but are on course for six. Yes, well, I actually said they were going to win 12 after they find out if they're still <laughs> in another three cups. But no, I think they have the chance of five or six cups. And when you go on a run like this and you keep winning trophies, it's very, very hard to knock yourself off it. And there's every chance of them going all the way. Yeah, very good luck to Cowinning in their quest for six trophies this year. That's the Junior Cup for another year. The trophy safely on its way to Ayrshire. My thanks to Alan Ruff for joining me here today. And thank you for staying with Scott Sport Extra Time and Football First throughout this season. We'll be back in August with the Scottish Premier League, the Scottish First Division, the Scottish League Cup and of course the UEFA Champions League. Good luck to Scotland next week, especially in Prague. From all of us here at Fairhill, thanks for watching. Bye bye.